Hi everyone, this is Ava. How are you all doing? I am going to explore one of my favorite southeastern European nations, Bulgaria, formerly the Republic of Bulgaria, that occupies the eastern half of the Balkan Peninsula. It's among the European continent's oldest states. Bulgaria is a historical nation with a varied topography and a stunning natural setting. This bold and beautiful Balkan nation has lots to offer everyone. So come along on this amazing quest to discover the top 10 places to visit in Bulgaria. My first stop is Nesbar, a captivating town often referred to as the Pearl of the Black Sea. Walking along its cobblestone streets feels like stepping back in time, where history unfolds at every corner. This UNESCO World Heritage Site has witnessed the rise and fall of various civilizations, Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, Bulgarians, all leaving behind gems dating back to the 5th century. Old Nesabar has been drawing travelers since 9,000 years ago, and it still does. In 1956, it was declared a museum town. Situated on a rocky peninsula and connected to the mainland via a causeway. See the quaint old world timber houses built on sturdy rock foundations, unwind, and enjoy the view of the windmill from the bridge that links the ancient and newer towns and see the exquisite churches and cathedrals. In the quiet ancient district of Nesabar, surrounded by Byzantine-era defenses and Roman baths, stands the well-known St. Stephen Church, built in the 11th century. There is an Eastern Orthodox Church called the Church of St. Sophia, or the Old Bishopric. It's located in the town's historic district, which is one of Bulgaria's 100 tourist sites, as well as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Stone columns and large arched windows may be seen among the Church of St. Sophia's remains from the 5th century. In addition, you can enjoy beaches, water sports, seafood, and having a crazy time at the aqua park next to the shore. Now let's venture towards the charming village of Bansko, a haven for winter sports enthusiasts. Tucked away in the center of the Perrin Mountains, this delightful town transforms into a magical snowy wonderland during winter. Take in the expansive views from the well-known Bezbog Peak. Visit Bansko's historic center to become fully immersed in the town's rich past. Explore its winding lanes, which are dotted with bustling bars, stone churches, and classic homes. Explore the history at Holy Trinity Church, which features exquisite woodwork and eye-catching paintings. Taste the real Bansko at neighborhood stalls serving delicious Bulgarian food, such as succulent grilled meats, flavorful stews, and freshly baked bread. Try the Bansky Steritz, a tasty cheese that is a local specialty that goes well with a glass of local wine. The slopes of Bansko and nearby Pamparovo offer thrilling skiing experiences at the Bansko Ski Resort, where skiers and snowboarders of all skill levels may enjoy powdery slopes. You can take a hike through the breathtaking Perrin National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, where you can explore the clean lakes, deep woods, and striking peaks. You can relax in comfortable mountain chalets with a blazing fireplace and warm mulled wine after a day of skiing. Just a short drive away from Sofia lies Kaprovstitsa, a village that truly captures the essence of Bulgaria's national revival period. It's tucked away in the Stredna Gora Mountains. It's like stepping in time to 1876 when Bulgarians valiantly fought for their independence against Ottoman rule. The village is adorned with houses that beautifully preserve this unique history, and its museum houses are brimming with fascinating artifacts from that era. Learn about the national heroes of Bulgaria and the town's involvement in the fight for independence by visiting the museums, which include the Todor Kabelskov House and the Oslikov House. It's surrounded by verdant meadows and woodlands, welcomes you to experience the peace of nature. Enjoy a peaceful stroll by the Topolnitsa River or go hiking and sightseeing in the Stredna Gora Mountains. Enjoy delicious pastries, substantial soups, and grilled meats in neighborhood pubs, or a drink of the famous Bulgarian rakia or the local wine to go with your meal. Speaking of history, don't miss the opportunity to visit the Buzluja Monument, an awe-inspiring structure of proportions. It looked like the massive socialist shrine in the shape of a flying saucer. Although it has been abandoned since the fall of the Soviet Union, it now serves as a canvas for graffiti featuring striking images of Marx and Lenin. It's a glimpse into Bulgaria's historical and architectural legacy. 
Dimitar Blagov and other communist officials constructed the massive monument, which the Bulgarian army completed in 1974. Next we arrive at Burgas, a coastal city boasting golden beaches and a rich maritime heritage. This seaside gem offers an atmosphere where you can soak up the sun, savor delicious seafood dishes, and even indulge in some thrilling water park adventures nearby. It's a destination to unwind and explore Bulgaria's enchanting Black Sea coast. Must see the Sea Garden and Sculpture Garden, the Burgas Archaeological Museum, and the yearly sand festival in the seaside city of Burgas. And don't forget to have a snack at Vodinitsada Restaurant or Ethnos Restaurant. Our next stop takes us to Belogradchik, a wonder straight out of a fairy tale realm. The Belogradchik rocks form a captivating landscape with their sandstone and conglomerate formations. Amongst these rocks, you'll discover the awe-inspiring Belogradchik Fortress, a remarkable man-made structure built against a breathtaking outcrop of rocks in Bulgaria. It's an old and significant beauty destination. The combo seems like it was taken from out of a fairy tale, since it is so unusual and lovely. The surrounding area is much more remarkable than the citadel itself. Hiking paths stretch across the Belogradchik Mountains, providing views of verdant valleys, verdant woods, and secret caverns. Explore the mysterious Magura Cave, which is decorated with thousands of years old ancient rock art. Visit the town's ethnographic museum to become fully immersed in the local way of life. Stroll down the enchanting streets that are surrounded with small stores and colorful homes. Don't forget to seize Belogradchik's splendor as the sun sets, painting the sky with warm tones and casting a mystical radiance over the karst formations. Our next destination is Sozopol, a village that is transformed into a charming seaside resort. With its historical roots dating to the 6th century BC, Sozo Paul resembles an open-air museum where ancient and modern Bulgaria beautifully merge. Stroll along its cobblestone streets, relax on its beaches, and immerse yourself in the rich tapestry of history and culture. Remains of the old city walls may be found all around town, as well as the ruins of Apollonia on St. Kirik Island. Remember the yearly Apollonia Art Festival. Next place is known as the Jerusalem of Bulgaria, the Rila Monastery, it has a history spanning several centuries. Nestled in the heart of Bulgaria's Rila Mountains, it's the largest Eastern Orthodox monastery in Bulgaria is Rila Monastery, located 73 miles south of Sofia. It's well known for its exquisite frescoes. The old monastery is still in use, with about 60 monks living and working in its elaborate facilities. The monastery's characteristic stripes, Gently curved arches and towering domes set it apart from the surrounding forested, hilly landscape. Undoubtedly, a pilgrimage visit is worthwhile. The monastery bears St. Ivan of Rila's name, has undergone several constructions, fires, and rebuilds over the ages. The most recent additions date to the 1800s. As soon as you step into the courtyard, the church's exquisite arches beneath a series of sculptured gargoyles, tiled roofs, and five domes arching skyward will astound you with its perfect symmetry. Moving forward to Plovdiv, Bulgaria's second biggest city commonly known as the City of the Tsars. The old town showcases preserved Roman amphitheaters and elegant Bulgarian Renaissance architecture that narrate tales of countless civilizations throughout centuries. Originally built on seven hills, the city was established around 6,000 years ago. However, in the start of the 20th century, one of the hills was demolished. It's home to an ancient town perched atop a hill, something Sofia lacks. See the old town, the ancient forum, the stadium from the 2nd century, and the pedestrian-friendly city center. No trip to Plovdiv would be complete without visiting the Alyosha Monument. Standing tall at 11 meters this statue of a soldier situated on Bunarjik Hill has been keeping a watchful eye over the city since the conclusion of World War II. It stands as a symbol of liberation and offers breathtaking panoramic views of Plovdiv. Situated in the center of Plovdiv's old town is one of the world's best-preserved antique theaters. It's believed that this was built during the time of Roman Emperor Trajan. It has been around since the 1st century AD. 
The theater is still in use for opera and musical acts, with a capacity of an amazing 7,000 people. Wander up the hill to the antique theater and via the town's medieval cobblestone lanes. Now we find ourselves in Sofia, the capital and biggest city of Bulgaria. It's an old city that beautifully blends history with contemporary life. It's starting point for holiday in Bulgaria. See the National Archaeological Museum, the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral, and the remains of the Serdica Fortress. Here you'll discover marvels like the Nevsky Cathedral, a magnificent masterpiece adorned with gilded embellishments and featuring an impressive 45-meter-tall dome. The cathedral is a symbol of Bulgaria nestled in the heart of this awe-inspiring city. Constructed between 1882 and 1912 this cathedral serves as a tribute to the 200,000 Russian soldiers who fought for Bulgaria's independence from Ottoman rule. Inside its interior, you'll be captivated by intricate mosaics, significant murals and depictions of saints and angels. On the other hand, Vitosha Boulevard is the main commercial street in the city, renowned for its upscale shops, great dining options and vibrant bars. It reaches Southern Park from St. Nadelia Square. Before the emancipation in 1878, single-story houses bordered the street. It developed into an important commercial thoroughfare in the years between the two world wars. The most famous buildings on the boulevard are the National Palace of Culture, the Palace of the Courts, the residence of Poet Pencho, Slavikov, and a well-known pub. Additionally, outside the city lies Vitosha Mountain, a distinctive peak shaped like a dome. Vitosha Mountain is a getaway near Sofia. The mountain is easily accessible from the city via bus, foot, and ropeways. It offers great hiking paths, a ski resort, and breathtaking panoramic views of the city below. At 2290 meters at its highest point, Vitosha Mountain attracts visitors year-round who come to explore the park that encircles the mountain, which is the oldest in the Balkans, and the mineral springs in the foothills. Our final stop will be Varna, a city with a history spanning over 6,000 years. It's tucked away on the Black Sea coast. The sun-kissed beaches of Varna have golden sands and inviting crystal clear seas, perfect for a cool dip. Enjoy leisurely strolls around the expansive sea garden, a park that provides a tranquil haven with its abundance of greenery, fountains, and colorful flower displays. Don't pass up the chance to see a stunning sunset paint the sky in a variety of hues over the water. Discover the history of Varna at the Archaeological Museum, which has an amazing collection, including the well-known Gold of Varna, or the remnants of the Roman Thermae and the Roman Baths. Savor freshly caught seafood delights at beach eateries or visit local markets brimming with fresh vegetables. There are many pubs, clubs, and beachside locations in Varna that offer a lively nightlife where you can dance the night away or just relax with a cool beverage in hand. With its own combination of coastal beauty, Varna delivers an amazing seaside holiday. In this city lies the Cathedral of the Assumption, an architectural masterpiece. It's also known as the Dormition of the Mother of God Cathedral. It's the third biggest cathedral in Bulgaria and the greatest ecclesiastical structure in Varna. Inaugurated formally on August 30, 1886, it's one of the landmarks of Varna and the home of the bishopric of Varna and Preslav. There you have it, the top 10 or I just covered top 15 destinations in Bulgaria, each with its own distinct allure and character. I hope this journey has sparked your curiosity to discover more about this country. So which of these places will you venture to first? Stay tuned for captivating travel guides and exciting adventures. Until then, Ava signing off, safe travels.